back to my new adventure, trying for a second attempt to reach a Trocortromit on Greenland. I have now decided to quit my everyday job to try making a living out of producing the best sailing adventures to be explored around the huge North Atlantic Oceans. Last year I got efficiently stopped by big belts of ice along the Greenland coast, but as I never work with having a plan B, I decided to give it another shot this year, as the ice seemed to be all melted away, only leaving a few chunks of ice spread widely across the Greenland Sea. I've spent the last year preparing the boat with some amazing technology, sails and hardware to make the journey as safe as possible. Welcome aboard to join my first leg from Haugesund to Shetland. On a beautiful day, the 26th of August, I was ready for departure. I was lucky enough to have my family there, to wish me luck and wave me goodbye for the big trip towards Greenland. And my mom and Chell. <laughs> hey. Hello, Tuva. <laughs> I've just finished a freelance offshore job, doing some diving operations. However, this mission got somewhat delayed and put my departure at the late end of the season. I knew the Greenland winter was coming in mid-September, so it was a bit of a gamble. But I like to gamble. That's what makes my kind of sailing exciting and adventurous. Do not know. Just go. And learn from it. Humans are mainly designed to stay on land. But our minds are set to explore. Think about traveling to space. Before we found a way to go there, we thought it was impossible. Like a glass wall between us and it. But that's the thing that also triggered us to find a way to go there. And we did. Miles per hour. I think the same about the Vikings crossing the oceans. They were not meant to go there, but that's exactly why they turned every stone to find a way to go there. It's all down to how you prepare to get on the other side of that glass wall. I might not be in a position to launch myself into space today, but I was certainly in a position to get into the first day of this Greenland adventure. To get a good fight on the North Sea battlefield. Finally, offshore again. We're just leaving the shores of uh, Rövana, the beautiful island outside my hometown. And uh, we are going straight towards the islands of Shetland, 36 hours away now. It's beautiful sun. Sunny and uh, the wind is uh, 30 knots uh, north, so it's coming pretty much on the nose, but uh, we're still able to hold the course on Shetland. It's so beautiful after all this preparing uh, of the boat. It's been one year now with, with preparing this boat with all the equipment, and it's been crazy. It's a never ending story, but finally it ended, and finally I'm here on the ocean. The only concern I have is to keep the boat going towards my goal of, of Shetland. And of course, the ice of Greenland, which is the main goal of this uh, ride. So come along. So towards the big blue it went. And it didn't take long before the North Sea woke up and started shaking and rattling its feathers, inviting for another dance on the big floor. The weather reports were stating 20 knots from north, with the wind hitting me off the starboard bow. This meant I had to reef down the sails pretty much. For the first time on an offshore passage, 
I was able to fly my new Raleigh Tusker jib sail on the inner forestay to have some more balance between the sails. Eventually, to get some more power towards the bumpy seas, I rolled out some of the Genoa again. With the sails set like this, you get the center of gravity further down with less healing, but you still maintain the speed and power. Pretty cool. And of course, the mandatory exciting visit to the bow just to be hit by that one wave that gets you absolutely soaked. Trying to film the Viking, but mainly pretty wet. But it's worth it. Nice. But they have to change that. That's why it's important to bring many sets of clothes. Let's not do that again. Oh wow! 30 miles offshore now. And the waves are uh, some big heavy swells because of there was a storm here uh, a couple of days ago or yesterday. And this is the old, uh, old swell, big swell. We are crashing into it and we are losing some speed but we are doing about five, five, six knots. And, uh, I also got the hydrovane to go. Uh, it's a lot of adjusting to, to make the boat go as you want. And uh, keep it on course. But uh, yeah, finally we got there and we are on course just towards Shetland. So that's perfect. And I also had to struggle a little bit with uh, getting the right sails up. I tried with the uh, heavy weather jib and the Genoa together but that was a little bit too much so I had to roll in the, the Genoa and that was too little again so I had to take down the jib sail and get the, the Genoa out again because it's more adjustable the size of it can be more adjusted than, uh, than the jib sail so that's it we are sailing into the night into the sunset and it's gonna be a beautiful evening I think beautiful night After some more adjusting to the sails, to maintain the speed without taking too much speeding, we were ready to slide into the night. It also felt very safe to now be able to have a good view of the outside surroundings through my below deck Raymarine chart plotter connected to a cockpit and mast camera. During a well-needed rest after 12 hours of sailing, the Oscar thermocamera alarm suddenly went off and got my attention. We have a fishing vessel in uh, front of us. So we can pick it up on the Oscar now, on the thermocam. And our alarm sounds. So let's go up and check it out. fishing boat was passing pretty close. We are now 80 miles from, uh, from land, from Haugesund. That's uh, 120 to go to Shetland. The time is uh, uh, 41 minutes past midnight. So the time is flying by. Really fun. Hydrovane is steering perfectly. We are going straight along our course line. Sails are really good compared to the wind. We're hauling ass, nice. It's uh, 
7.30 Oh sorry, 6.30 And uh, we are way over halfway, we are passing the last platforms now on English sector It's 80 miles to go and uh, we've done 120, so that's, uh, that's pretty good 6-7 knots all the way Rolly Tasker sails is, has been really nice The hydro vein is steering perfectly We're testing the thermocam uh, Oscar thermocam and it uh, goes off when it sees some boats and that's really nice So yeah, it's a good start on the first leg And uh, I guess we're going to reach Shetland in uh, Friday evening In the evening now, I guess In the 9, 10 o'clock I'm gonna be have, having a good beer when I get there. Wow, beautiful. Let's keep punching. So everything was perfect, but that one annoying thing. Oh, I just had my windows sealed up and even bigger leak than last time. It's amazing. I have to fix that on Shetland. Solo sailing is demanding on the body, and being a big guy, I'm constantly hungry. So this is uh, Real Tumat. I got a bunch of this. You just uh, add some uh, boiling hot water, and you eat it right up out of the bag. It's full of energy and. Uh, actually beats uh, tin can food, I have to be honest. And when you finish with it, you just wrap this up and uh, put it in the trash, it doesn't take any room. So being refueled with energy, we charged further on across the North Sea. Along with the hours running, a fresh breeze turned into a slow breeze and steadily drifted us along the course line. Until we could see some well-known and conspicuous shapes in the end of the horizon. So that's us seeing Shetland, 20 nautical miles to go now. And the wind just dropped, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to use my engine to, to get the last miles to the shore. This is going too slow, four knots, and it's, uh, Eight knots of wind. But what a fantastic arrival. Smooth and calm seas and uh, really nice weather. And I'll meet uh, Sigur and uh, Ashley inside in uh, Lorvik and I can't wait to meet them. Been a long time. So lots of things to, uh, to look forward to. All right, let's go. It's always an emotional situation, approaching land after crossing an ocean single-handed. You can feel the smells and differences in the surroundings as you get closer. You feel very alive and thankful to be a part of it. It's incredible to think about all the wonderful experiences a little boat can give you. And being single-handed gives you the total feeling of freedom. To be able to see all the beautiful things you want to see. Well, that's a welcome to Shetland. Sunset, beautiful weather. Wow, look at this landscape and this light. to create life into all the adventures you have been dreaming of. This is what I strive for every day, to make some sense of my life. This is what we live for! Wow. I believe that a human life is born without purpose. It's your job to make some purpose and meaning out of it. And Shetland Shetland does that just perfectly. So 
that's the first leg done. And uh, I'm gonna have a rest here, meet up with my folks, uh, Sigurd, Ax Ashley, and uh, other friends, and see what happens when I get inside. Surrounded by this splendid nature, I could take down and secure the sails and motor the rest of the miles through the Bresse Sound towards Victoria Pier in Lurvik Harbour. What a ride it was, and what a nice surprise to be welcomed by Sigur and Ashley, Ashley's father Brian and her good friend Marlene. I maneuvered Tessie safely to port, well knowing I had done another successful single-handed North Sea crossing. <laughs> The next day, Saturday, Ashley had invited us all to a big party at her house. It was so nice to come straight from the cold North Sea and to suddenly be surrounded by such good people in a warm and cozy house. But little did I know the weather was going to keep me here for a much longer time than planned. So that's Shetland, that's one hell of a ride, it was fun, great fun, and uh, we're going to stay here for a few days now, waiting for better weather, it's uh, already gotten to Wednesday now, and on Friday I'm going to leave, I'm staying here for five days, so what can you, what can you do, drink beer and just uh, take care of the boat, and I have one problem, and that's the leaky window here, somewhere here, it's, gonna, it's leaking and I'm just going to test uh, and see what I can do and test with some water and uh, just have to reseal it and see what happens next time in, in, when I get some waves on the window. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this episode and uh, the next one will be from Shetland to Faroe Islands and that will be another uh, 40 hours of sailing. Amazing and the weather looks great so Let's do this. So that's the first leg completed of my journey towards the ice of Greenland. Stay tuned for my next episode, sailing from Lurvik. I'm now leaving Shetland, Lurvik. And around the south end of Shetland. To anchor at Papa Store, waiting for the right winds to cross the North Atlantic. over to the amazing Faroe Islands. It also got a bit dramatic during nightfall along the voyage. Okay, let's go to Faroes. But that's next time. And in the meantime, you can follow my Instagram and Facebook site for pictures and news. You can also support me at Patreon or PayPal. Get your new NBGS shirts and merchandise by clicking the pictures under the video or following the links in the video description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon. Eric.